all your Minecrafters, this is Wood. Thanks for joining me today on this beautiful afternoon. Sun has been set like this for 6,900 seconds, it seems. <laughs> uh, today I have a tutorial for you, a repeater tutorial. And we're gonna learn some basics and some more advanced stuff we can do with those. Uh, I wanted to do get this tutorial out so when I do my 25 button wall pad tutorial everything is a little more clear because I had to go really deep into uh, our redstone work but let's get to it first a repeater you craft it with three stone not cobblestone it must be smooth stone two redstone torch and a redstone dust that gives you a redstone repeater. A repeater uh, acts like a torch except that it does not give power it only uh, transmit power so if a repeater gets power it will transmit power if it does not receive any power it will not uh, transmit power and it acts like a torch as in it will send power to 15 redstone dust and on a repeater you can set delays uh, when current travel to redstone torch uh, it takes two ticks I think and these are actually a uh, few uh, couple um, tenth of a second uh, two I think not sure but it takes some time to travel from torch to torch and you can set the same delay by right clicking the repeater uh, like this it acts at like one torch two torch three torch and four torch I've timed it and you actually can see that the signal gets sent at exactly the same time depending on which delay you set the repeater to all right, so first, um, the repeater current transmission. How does the repeater transmit its power? Well, first, it, transmit, it can transmit its power down when it's through a block like this. It can, can transmit it uh, up through a block and in front of the block. Uh, but as you can see, if you put a repeater up, the repeater won't get powered, only the dust from the side and you can put a repeater too on the side it will get powered and then the redstone torch current transmission how the redstone torch works this is even more basic but we need to cover this um, redstone torch can transmit down on the side and in the front and it can also transmit up through a block like this and then on the same level you can take your power out and it can also transmit power through repeaters on the front and on the side but not down like it can with the redstone dust the repeater down won't get power alright so now for optical illusions uh, this uh, only affects like how the wire looks and does not give any functionality so in like in this case this dust is powered by this torch but it seems like it's connected to this torch too but if I remove this torch this dust is off so this torch does not affect this dust neither this dust even though it's straight like it's connected to it so this is just an optical illusion uh, an unpowered dust like this that it's not connected to anything should look like this it, it makes a, a cross sign and here's another optical illusion uh, when you have a wire going into a block that's got a torch uh, and you got it straight on the block beside it your line coming from it it will look like it's turning to but it's actually not you need to have a straight line going into the block so that power will actually transmit 
now current transmission through blocks uh, you can have a source of power going into a redstone dust that go through a solid block and it will transmit power to a repeater it will however not transmit power to another redstone dust uh, you can have the invert a power source coming into a repeater through a block it will give power to uh, redstone dust and as we saw here a, po a block a powered block cannot transmit power to a dust in the same manner here current is transmitted through this block through this dust but not again through another block and another dust and here's the same another example uh, power going to a block and the block powers the repeater after it here there's a matrix error error 00110010 okay no I can't say that uh, I'm gonna travel in time um, here's a kind of a bug um, when you have a repeater and one line of dust coming into a block uh, you think that this block would be powered taking off this torch and still powering this repeater but it inverts both it's really a weird thing if you remove this torch here the block takes it, its power and power the repeater but I think the thing is happening is that when you place the torch uh, you get the line that change here like it's connected to the torch but as we saw in the optical illusion, it's not connected to the torch since it's uh, only one line long and it's like uh, arriving on the same level. So uh, I think it breaks actually the connection so the, po the block is not powered and does not power the repeater and at the end. Because you see in this example, it's the same exact thing but you have two dust and the power gets sent through the repeater is lit up and the torch is off and if you don't have a, repe a repeater only one line will do the same thing now for repeater connection how will you actually wire the thing uh, a repeater transmit power only in front of it and receive power only in the back of it lines on the side will not be affected by it uh, if you have to power multiple repeater or have to turn sections a uh, straight line from one another can do uh, you can have a straight line uh, that acts like a corner and you can have a longer line you can just take it out from the first block all the way you don't you don't need to uh, have the current going out like this as soon as it's out like this you can manipulate it as you want and so the repeater like this uh, does not affect the other side so you can have two line of two different power not interfering with each other and with all we've learned so far you can actually build a little setup like this which is quite compact it's three switches with three display that are all close together no space between and each lever control its independent light there's no cross talking uh, with the wire or anything and also repeater can act as clocks but this is another matter now I want to show you this finally I give you the Wilmis Woods One Line Multi Input Signal Splitter. Tell me if you like the name in the comment, please. Um, so, what we have here is actually one line of redstone dust with three switches connected to it. So, every switch activates the line. But if you see the three torches at the back here, each switch activates its own light. So what I've done with this is use the fact that the uh, signal can travel only 15 blocks from a redstone torch, uh, from a source of power. So the first switch 
this uh, no this one it's saying it signals stop here so I have a repeater here that sends the signal through its line to the output second switch the signal goes through the second uh, pair of uh, repeaters here and then it signals sent through its output and the same for the third the signal goes all the way through here and the output is there uh, the way I have managed to cut the signal as you can see when you have the number two switch activated the number one also is activated so the way I cut the signal from the line one when I have line two activated is with a piston and use the fact that the power can go through a block and remove this block of the way of the circuit so I break the line or the output of line one with line two and this is achieved with uh, manipulating the delays and like this the number two line got two repeaters so it's one torch two torch so uh, if I want to close the first line before the first line gets its signal through it needs to be faster than uh, the first line ne needs to be longer than two torch so I have two torch on this repeater alone and one other ear so it's three so it takes more time for the first line to activate and the second line is faster so it will cut the first line first and then activates its output and from the third line I have the same thing again manipulating the delays this one I have one two so we saw here that there was two also but there's also a repeater here that's connected to the output and this is where the piston is connected to uh, this block so actually it's three thick three a uh, torch and this one it's two so this one get activated first so it cuts the second line and the second line is activated before the first so as you can see the current is cut but it's, it's going all the way through here so everything before is activated so the piston cut the first line before two so that's how you split signal from one line and that's how you can make this 25 button wall pad with every wire going through a single output 25 doors but that's just to show it's quite a big thing since it's 25 doors space 1 it's 50 large so yeah I hope you liked my tutorial and as I said this is a preparation for this tutorial that is coming out my 25 button uh, wall pad and I've color coded it so it's gonna be easier to understand and with all I've uh, shown you uh, you should, shouldn't have a problem to understand what I'm doing so I hope you liked it please comment rate and subscribe and see you next time bye bye